elegant. Just to let you know, like, I don't normally wear grey. Well, I do normally wear grey. I don't always wear grey. I'm just looking around now and literally every jumper that I can see is grey. Everyone loves grey jumpers, that's why I've got a grey jumper on. In fact, it's not even mine, it's Rob's. But, who cares, it's snuggly and it's like, I think it's about like minus 10 in my house. Because my window has like a gap in it. What is that spider? <laughs> Ew. Right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys liked the last video, the military diet one. It seems to be going really well. It took ages to edit and I realise it might seem quite boring to some people because I do just sort of drone on about like half the time and I'm going to be droning on in this video too. So if you don't want to hear me drone on, just click off. You know, not my problem. I wanted to get round to this Q&A eventually because I love answering questions. Um, I did an Instagram question thingy and I also did a Facebook one so I'll, I'll go to both and have a look. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, favourite go-to breakfasts? Always oats. If you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have an unhealthy obsession with oats. I love Weetabix. I love literally anything for breakfast. I'm definitely more of a sweet person for breakfast though. I could do like a good fry up and stuff, but I would always pick like fruits and chocolate and stuff like that for breakfast. So, um, oh, that wasn't, that's not very really attractive, is it? How do you stay on track with healthy eating? It's a good question and I think it's a question like, everybody want you know everyone that's wanting to eat healthier and maybe diet or just get fit and stuff is a big question is how do you stay on track with it and it's just it's all up here like I know that sounds stupid and it sounds like such a generic answer honestly if you just think to yourself why am I doing this how good am I gonna feel if I carry on like this do I want to go back to the way I was before every time you're thinking of caving just think to yourself, how are you going to feel if you do, and how are you going to feel if you don't? And I just stayed on track because I just saw more positives in being healthy than when I was unhealthy. So it's honestly all up here. I, I can't really give any other tips, like that's like literally just how I do it. What's your favourite cheat food? Dominoes. Like I just said, I, love, like I, just, said, I just love Dominoes. Yeah, favourite cheat food? Pizza. What is your go-to snack? I particularly love... I don't know if you've... Is this camera straight? Oh well. I love greys, like everything they do, like from the, the barbecue crunch thing to the protein balls. Like, I love snacks from greys. Or I'll make my own. There's quite a few recipes on Henny's Healthy. Peanut butter date bars. Chop... Peanut... Peanut... Peanut butter chocolate chip things, you know, like Reese's. Peanut butter cups, that's it. Uh, chocolate peanut butter cups. Just anything like that, or I do like rice cakes with goat's cheese on as a savoury sort of thing. Okay. Oh, I like proper corn as well. Would you ever go vegan? Um, no, I probably wouldn't. I would definitely be up for trying vegetarian, or at least pescatarian. But vegan, no. I feel like I'd miss things like eggs. I just love eggs and I know I probably wouldn't go vegan but I would maybe consider being vegetarian but not anytime soon I don't think. How do you get so much motivation to start eating healthy and getting fit? My motivation was just like I've always been into YouTube so I always watch fitness YouTubers like Grace Fit and other people like that and I suppose it was them that inspired me like I just wanted the lifestyle that they had and that's what gave me the motivation. What keeps me motivated is just sort of seeing progress and stuff like that and I've got a supportive boyfriend who's also very fit and like surround yourself with the right people and have the right mindset and anyone can stay motivated. Um, have you ever tracked macros slash would you ever? Yes. Most days I track my calories and I'm not an obsessive one. I don't count every single crumb that goes into my mouth and I've said this in a previous video but I do like to have a rough idea because if I didn't I feel like I would go over quite a lot of the time and honestly, counting calories is like literally been just been a godsend for me in losing weight. 100%. I would just recommend it to everyone out there. Just don't go stupid. In terms of macros, I do sometimes track macros, but I find it really hard to keep up with protein. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but trying to reach a protein goal for the day, I just find such a challenge. And I just got sick of trying to reach it. So obviously I eat as much protein, protein as I can. But I just got bored of like going over on my carbs and then like not reaching up with protein So I try to just avoid tracking macros Obviously they're important and obviously anybody can if they want but me personally I'm more of a calorie sort of person Favorite muscle groups to train now 
I've said this before, like, I'm much more of an outdoory sort of person, so my activities would include normally, like, walking the dogs or going for a run or playing tennis when I used to. But when I do go to the gym, I just do an all-round body sort of workout. Like, I'll go on the treadmill for 20 minutes, I'll do a bit of leg press, some step-ups, some squats, and then I'll do some, like, lat pull-down, shoulder press, sit-ups, bit of boxing, like literally just a huge mix of stuff. I don't think I've ever been to the gym, apart from when I've been with my boyfriend like a couple of times, I've actually uh, trained a specific muscle. I've just gone in and just worked out until I'm sweaty. <laughs> like that's just how I do it. I'm not even a huge gym fan to be honest with you. I'm much more, I much prefer losing weight just through eating healthy and just staying active and getting your steps in for the day. I can't go to the gym and just work on one body part, like it just bores me. But, what was the question? Oh, but favourite. Oh, I've gone off tangent again. But if I did, then my favourite would be legs, probably. Now, I, d I did used to do leg day with my friend, but the pain after leg day hurt so much, but it was such a good, like, rewarding pain. Um, favourite active wear brand? My favourite brand is Nike, and I think it always has been. It's expensive, I mean, it's not cheap, but I just love shoving my pair of Nike shorts on, a Nike vest or whatever. I love Nike trainers, just anything to do with Nike, and if I had all the money in the world, my whole room would just be full of Nike clothing. How to cook a steak? I literally have no idea. I don't even like steak that much. Um, yeah. Uh, Faith Cardio. To be honest, like, I just love playing tennis. Like, that's my favourite cardio. Literally, the loves of my life. Tennis was my favourite cardio. I haven't played in a long time since leaving my job. Your favourite cardio now is probably just going for a run with my dog. Like, I live in the Peak District and anywhere that you go for a run is just beautiful. So, probably running. I'm not a fan of running on a treadmill though. Get bored. And I think I'm going to fall off every time I'm on it. It's really cold. I might have to wear my hood up. Oh. Oh. Let's take that off. That was a stupid idea. Do you find it hard to stick to a healthy diet? I did, and now I don't at all. Like, it's literally just become a lifestyle thing now. I just find it so easy to pick healthy options on a menu. Like, I used to walk into a pub or a restaurant and I would quickly eye up the burger. I mean, who wouldn't? Unless you're vegetarian, I think you're slightly deranged if you don't have a look at the burger. Uh, but now, like, literally, I find myself just looking at healthy, so I'm deranged now. I just find myself looking at, like, the healthy options, like the salads and stuff. Yeah, like, I don't find it hard, really, at all. How often are you tempted to have a cheat meal? Um, I think it just depends, like whilst I'm at home and I'm not seeing any friends or I'm not seeing Rob or anything, I find it pretty easy to not get tempted, especially when I'm in charge of cooking. If Dad's not cooking and I'm cooking, I like to um, cook something nice so I'm not that tempted, but when I go out with friends, I'm going out with a friend tonight to Meadow Hall, Meadow Hell, that's when I find it difficult to not have something really unhealthy, so I'll have to make sure I pick something healthy because I'm not going off track on a Monday. Does it take long to prep your meals? It depends what meal, like, sometimes I like quick meals, so like I'll have an omelette or something. It honestly just depends, but no longer than 20 minutes, or because I can't wait that long for my food. Would you consider bringing out a recipe book? Yes, like, I really, really want to have my own recipe book one day. It would be fantastic. Fingers crossed. You know, we'll see what happens in the future. What is your go-to snack that you would bring on a desert island? or a cute little picnic. Go to snack, bring on a desert island or a cute little picnic. Two very like, I feel like there's a big difference between going for a little picnic and going onto a desert island. Like if I was going onto a desert island, like my snack would be a meal. A bag of crisps, like healthy crisps, like the proper corn or there's like quinoa crisps or I don't know, any snack really. Or like a piece of fruit, I love a banana. I mean, who doesn't love banana? Quite a lot of people actually. Do you eat before going to the gym? If so, what's your favorite pre-workout snack? So generally, yes, I do eat before going to the gym, saying that I've done a fasted cardio this morning. If I do eat before I go, I like to have oats with a banana or something to give me a bit of energy. Oh my gosh, do you like my socks? Look how cool my socks are. Aren't they just the coolest? Why did I go American? <laughs> Like little bubbles. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so probably just oats or something like that, or a banana. Um, yeah. Yeah. What inspired you to start a food Instagram? Well, um, 
I love taking photos and I just love like sort of sharing stuff on social media like that and editing it and I love making food look pretty so I just thought I really really want to start one up and it the only thing that was stopping me and it's the thing that stops everybody starting anything up is the fact that you've got to start on like zero yeah no followers like sort of just like nothing you're starting from scratch and it was that that sort of put me off for a while but then I thought well in all the time that I've been putting it off I could have got myself you know over a thousand followers so to those out of you out there that are thinking you don't want to start something because you've got to start from the bottom just like YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to do do it just do it what have you got to lose and in six months time to a year you're gonna be six months to a year further than if you weren't gonna have started it so yeah that's my advice so oh look at this it's like turning into like hen's advice sessions dr. hen are there any foods you're excited to have more now that the weather is colder? Good question. I love that question. My oats. <laughs> um, I liked um, baked oats at this kind of like weather with the autumn leaves is perfect. Pasta dishes, like nothing beats a nice hot bowl of pasta or soup or jacket potatoes. Literally just all hot foods get me so excited. I love it. I don't know if anyone else finds this, but stuffing a bowl on like a really cold day is really satisfying. So having like oats or like soup, I don't know, just stuffing a bowl on a cold day, I don't know what it is about me. Let me know, give this video a like if you're the same, but don't dislike it if you're not the same because that would just be mean, just tell me in the comments below. How do you stay motivated to work out and eat healthy when you can't go to a gym? I feel like I'm a good person to take advice if you don't want to go to the gym or you, you know you can't afford the gym or whatever it's very easy to stay motivated and not have a gym like I live in the middle of nowhere so the closest gym to me more well, my gym is about 10 15 minute drive away it's all about just finding other activities even just getting your steps in as long as you're eating healthy your body is going to be in a fit state just get your steps in other ways or you know get your activity in other ways going for a run just walking to the shops playing a different sport all these fitness youtubers they all go to the gym they're all members of the gym loads of their videos are like workouts you don't need it obviously it does keep you healthy and there's more to there's more to offer at a gym like you're not going to be able to do leg press and all sorts of just in your house but just find something that you love that keeps your heart rate up and you're a winner oh my dad's there Right, last few questions then. So I don't know how long I've been filming for. If you had to eat the same three meals for the rest of your life, what would they be? Tuna pasta bake. Say they all had the same nutritional value. None are he healthier or less healthy than others, if that makes sense. So I'd have tuna pasta bake, like a big doughy pizza, and oats, or like cereal, like I could live off cereal. Tuna pasta bake, I've always said, if I was on death row, which I hope I never will be, I think I'd have tuna pasta bake as a final meal. Savory or sweet? Mmm. Probably savory. I could always have something savory, but I'm not always in the mood for something sweet. Uh, dessert or starter? I've always been a dessert kind of person, but since starting this like healthy eating, I am I am now a starter sort of person. I will pick a starter, but. If I had the choice now and I was going all out, I would definitely pick dessert. Um, would you ever go vegetarian? Or you, oh, I've had that. Uh, what do you eat before you go? Oh, I've had that. Oh, I've had these questions. How often do you go to the gym? Okay, right. So here's a, that's a good question to sort of back up the point of the fact that I'm not at the gym much. Now, I, I go through stages of one week I'll go like three to four times and then I'll not go for two weeks. And it's become more of a balance. So now I, I, I would probably say I go maybe six or seven times a month which doesn't seem a lot but I like being a member because I know that next week if I am sudden pumped to go to the gym I can just go but I don't just obviously not do exercise in the other times I have other things to do what is your favorite dish to make after a long day after a long day sometimes I'm in the mood for something really like fancy and wholesome but then after a long day like I don't particularly want to be cooking for long so I normally like to whip up a pasta dish or why have I been put on the spot and I can't think now? Um, um, noodles, curry, like a quick vegetable curry or something. But pasta's honestly like the perfect thing after a long day because it's quick, it fills you up and it tastes amazing. So probably pasta, that's my favourite. 
I need the loo so bad because I've been drinking out of this like all day. My mum bought my brother that. He's a 60, why is it focusing on my face? This is more beautiful. He's a 16 year old lad and she bought him that and thought that he'd be really over the moon with it. So I stole it because I like it. Did you learn how to cook from your dad? or any other family members. Yeah, my dad is literally the best cook ever. It's like one of his passions and he's always taught me how to sort of experiment with food and how you don't have to be afraid to just chuck stuff into a pan. And I definitely learned it from him. He eats very healthily as well, so it was very easy to get into it and get top tips. And now I feel like I do more cooking than him. He's a bit of a tough critic, I won't lie. Who was your favorite neighbor growing up? Hmm. Definitely not Liddy. Okay, what was your favourite food before you started eating healthily and what have you replaced it with? So I used to love, because I didn't eat it on a regular basis anyway, I haven't really had to replace it, but I did love a good Domino's like I said, and, but I, I replaced that with a, I've put it on my Instagram before, like a wrap and then I used passata and mozzarella and vegetables like that. It's very easy to make a healthy pizza actually. What would you order at a Chinese restaurant that is healthy? I don't know if there is anything from Chinese that's really healthy, but I always order the vegetable chow mein. I mean, they probably cook it in literally buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of oil, but it tastes good and I feel like it's probably healthier than the deep, well it is healthier than the deep fried stuff, so I'd definitely pick something like that. That's what I always pick anyway. I'm one of those sorts of people that if I find something on a, a menu that I like, I probably won't venture out and try something new, like I'll just have that. So that finishes today's video off. I need the toilet desperately and I just realised we've got a decorator around so he's probably just thought I'm just talking to myself in my room so that's quite embarrassing. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up, it means the absolute world and subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping my next video is going to be finally the trying foods that I've never liked with mum so that should be a laugh to make but for now it's goodbye and I'm running to the toilet. It's a weird noise, oh my gosh, no I need to go.